Now for this last part, again I've redefined my random variable x to be this time the number of visits per two minutes on a Saturday where x is distributed as a Poisson distribution with a mean of lambda. And we're told that in a random two minute period on the Saturday, the web server is visited 20 times. So we've got an observed value then of 20. Let's just write that in here. The observed value x is 20. So using a suitable approximation, test at the 10% level of significance whether or not the rate of visits is greater on a Saturday. Well, under the null hypothesis, lambda was equal to 7 per minute, 7 visits per minute. So if we've upped it to 2 minutes, we can expect lambda to be now 14, twice 7. So lambda equals 14. And because we've got 20 visits here, it seems to suggest that lambda has increased. So for the alternative hypothesis, H1, we're going to say lambda is greater than 14. And we're testing at the 10% level, so alpha there equals 10%. So again, if I was to draw a number line, we're expecting around 14 if we assume that HO is true and we've got zero down this end so we can expect the number of visits to fluctuate around that 14. But we've got 20, we've got to find out where 20 is on section here. Is it outside this region, outside this green part here? If so, we reject HO. And so I'm just going to put down here that we're going to reject HO if the probability that x is greater than or equal to 20 given that HO is true, that is using the mean lambda equaling 14, okay, turns out to be less than or equal to the significance level here of 10%. In other words, less than or equal to 0 0.10. Now in order to work something like this out. We're told that we've got to use a suitable approximation. So I'm looking to approximate this to another distribution. And that distribution is the normal distribution. Because we should know that if the mean, in this case lambda, is a number greater than 10, then we can think of x as being distributed as a normal distribution approximately. Okay, now for the normal distribution, the two parameters we know are the mean and the variance. And for a Poisson distribution, the mean is lambda, which we're taking as 14 if HO is true. And the variance will also be exactly the same as the mean. So we've got 14 and 14 there. So we need to work out what this probability is going to turn out to be. Is it going to turn out to be less than or equal to 0 0.10? So we need to work out then from the normal distribution here what the probability is of x being greater than or equal to 20 given that x is distributed with that normal distribution. Let's just say x is distributed normally 14, 14 approximately. Now in order to do something like this we've got to be very careful because we're going from a discrete probability distribution to a continuous one. Poisson is a discrete probability distribution, the normal distribution is continuous. So we need to build in a continuity correction. And if you're unsure about continuity corrections, just go on my website and there's a tutorial on that. But for the moment, what we've got is the random variable x is distributed normally and it's got a mean here of 14. I'd want to draw the standardized distribution below it. So we'll have that as z. And that has a mean of 0 and a variance of 1. 
Now, when we're looking to be greater than or equal to 20, a value to the right here, we want the area to be to the right of the 20, but using the continuity correction. Remember, just in brief, I was showing you in my earlier tutorials on continuity corrections, which is to say, just go back and have a look if you're unsure about this. But we think of this as bars of width one unit. And if you've got 20 here, you want to be greater than or equal to 20, so you want the area to the right of the 20, but it's got to include the 20, so you come into the bar here and you go up to this edge. This edge is at 19.5. So with the continuity correction, this is the same as trying to work out the probability of being more than 19.5. The probability that x is greater than 19.5 given that HO is true. I'll, I'll put it to HO is true, that normal distribution. Okay, so now we've got that continuity correction. We've just got to work out what the corresponding Z value is for 19.5. And to do that, we should know that Z is always equal to the observed value, 19.5 in this case, minus the mean, 14, all divided by the standard deviation, which is the square root of 14. OK, that would be the square root of the variance there. Now, if you work this out, then this is the same as working out the probability that z is greater than this value. And that value turns out to be 1.4699 and so on. In other words, you're basically roughly 1.47 standard deviations above the mean. That's what the z-value, just as a reminder, means. And to work this out, you need to use your tables, but they work out probability being less than a given z-value. So you need to do 1 minus the probability that z is less than 1.4699. OK, and when you look in your tables, you won't necessarily see this value. You might have to approximate it, say, to about 1.47. And if you do that, you should find you get 1 minus 0.9292. I'm assuming that you're OK with looking up values in the normal probability distribution tables. And so if we subtract that from 1, you end up with 0.0708. And so that means that if we now look at this probability and compare it to the 0.10, you can see that it clearly is less, about 7% compared to the 10% here. So that means we reject HO. And we conclude that since that probability then, x greater than or equal to 20, given that lambda equals 14 turns out to be less than 0.10, it's a significant result. The rate of visits is greater on a Saturday. All right, so I hope that's given you some idea then how to go about this particular problem.